Firmly established as one of the strongest eventing teams in Europe, Mike and Trish Ryan have built up a world-class stable of event horses which are capable of competing over the most challenging courses in the world. Boasting an impressive record sheet of international wins, the couple's success is based on hard work and dedication. Today, Mike and Trish Ryan give an insight to their world of eventing. Mike, a bit about yourself. Are you originally from Bandon? Where did you start off? Born and bred in Limerick, uh, in a little village called Lula. Mother and father, Camilla and Pat Ryan. Father was a milkman, stroke farmer, hunted all his life. My mother's a Tipperary woman. All my brothers, I have four brothers, two sisters and they all hunt. I uh, was very involved in the GA and played from under 12s all the way up to senior level and played with um, the Limerick Miners as well, football. Had to give it up at a young age because the horses took over. My brother plays a lot of football now at the moment, he's on and off the Limerick training panel. Hopefully now that he might get a break this year, like I will in the horses. And how did you get into the eventing? I uh, got into the eventing through uh, Chris Ryan. We have entered as um, kids in the pony club at a small level, but when I went to work for Chris Ryan, who hunts the Scarty and Black and Tans, he introduced me into, into the novice eventing and it kind of took off from there. And that's how you met Trish? I uh, met Trish then through the true eventing, obviously, yeah, as well. So you're still on a monster circuit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still, still on a monster circuit. We go home a lot to do a good bit of hunting and stuff like that. And my brother and I was quite involved in, you know, with us as well, producing the young horses, so um, we're, st we're still up. Of all the equestrian sports, three-day eventing by far is considered the most testing for both horse and rider. It's certainly enough for the faint-hearted. Trish explains the three phases. Well, eventing is very demanding. Uh, I think probably because we've got the three phases, we have to work quite hard at trying to perfect all three phases. Uh, it just sort of it takes up most of your time. But I mean, it's very rewarding when things go right and you just everything comes together in one day. And what what are the three phases? Well, you've got the dressage, uh, which is just sort of it's like you know dancing on a horse. And, perfecting movements and the show jumping where we have to leave the poles up and the cross country which is the exciting bit really where you have to get all the horses stamina and everything comes into play. And I mean you talk about stamina there, you talked about cross country, obviously it's very demanding on the horse as well, like how many events do you get in a month, is the one you, like show jumping you do it once a week or? Yeah well, again like this depends on the horse, I mean this is the interesting part of it too is that every horse is different so you have to sort of play to their strengths as well. Some horses you could actually take out probably every week um, to do a one day event here at home um, and other horses you just have to you know plan their way much much more carefully um, but then again in saying that like the big international shows you probably don't do one of them every week uh, it will be once you know you do one in the spring and maybe you might get another one done in the autumn so you know you always have a, a big aim in one part of the year. You have had good results. Yeah, I suppose um, we have a few nice results, all right. Uh, two, two years ago now, Trish won the World Cup in, in Tattestalls, and I was second. And I also have been second twice in two other previous World Cups. So it, 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 it hasn't been bad, and we do get to go to all the big major events with the old campaigners. It's, it's, it's the horses that are hunting each year, you know. Um, they're the driving force. It's, they have to be, the, they're, they're the talented ones. We, we just steer them, they do everything. And, and, and without horsepower, you can't achieve these results. You do need a young string of horses coming along behind you, which takes um, a good bit of effort to happen. And you're lucky enough, it's, it really is a family affair. You have your two sisters, Marion and Sheila, and they were very hard keeping horses to top standard as well. Yeah, we're quite lucky. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a family affair. Yeah, we have Trisha's got two sisters. You know, I have my father and my brother to do a good bit of work. My father drives the truck there. It's, oh, sometimes my brother would ride the young horses when we're not around. It is a family affair and it works quite well. And what are your long-term goals? I suppose our long-term goals now, definitely next year with the Olympics in mind. Um, we both have two horses each. I have one very good horse that's just back from injury. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll stay sound. And I have another young horse um, as well for that. Maybe it might be just a little bit soon for him, but hopefully he'll come out next spring and produce a few nice results. 
Trish has two very young horses um, on the same boat as, as I. Um, hopefully they will come out and produce some good results as well. Hey, Trish, you, like you've won an awful lot. I think I've just been very lucky. Uh, I've probably been a lot of places that I probably would never have been if only, if only for the horses. And uh, no, I mean, as, as Michael said earlier, it is an awful lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. um, but like it is good fun when it, when it does come right. How many Olympics have you gone to? I've been to two Olympics. Um, and they've probably been the furthest away than, than ever with Sydney and then Beijing, Hong Kong, when we were in Hong Kong. Um, yeah, they were good. I mean, I think Sydney for me was an absolute dream come true. It was, uh, it was like, it was actually like a dream. I don't think I could even have, I didn't think too much about it. And I don't think I actually realised I was doing it until I was back home again. Uh, Hong Kong then was, Different was it was a young, a pretty young horse there. So yeah, we've had some interesting experiences. And of course, Satterstall's winning that World Cup qualifier that must stick in your mind. Yeah, that that was good on on home ground, you know, with the home supporters and everything. Um, and it was good to have an Irish win there, which is important, I think, too, for the Irish events. And was Mike cheering you on, or was he? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I think or was he's very competitive. <laughs> no, I mean. She'll yeah, never know. <laughs> we are very competitive, but I mean, we do support each other quite a lot. Um, and I think at that stage, we had, we had done what we needed to do. So it didn't really matter. It was good for the team.